what it is what's up got your Boruto in the gut a hey, I've been reading the series and I don't know if I did a video for every one after chapter one no I did chapter one but chapter two don't know chapter three I read it I was supposed to do a different format you know I give my thoughts after I read it and uh, that never happened. So <laughs> I decided to go back to the old format where I just read it so I actually can record it and make myself responsible. Anyway, chapter three is pretty cool. Uh, he unlocked the I, the gravity Rasengan. <laughs> I don't know what they call the gravity rotation Rasengan. Um, finally, a new Rasengan power. Uh, Barthel beat the Rasengan allegations. And, um, he apparently does another really cool move in this chapter that the official Shonen Jump Twitter decided to spoil, which is cool. You always love when the most important moment in the chapter gets leaked. Uh, not leaked, actually, revealed by the official page, so it kind of takes the win out your sales. But, um, uh, I'm assuming that if they were okay dropping that panel... Uh, there's got to be other stuff that's worthwhile in here. And honestly, all the chapters have been good so far. So I expect uh, a certain, god damn it, a certain level of quality. Uh, so let's just hop into it. Still recording, okay. The Awakening. Masashi Kishimoto. It's pretty crazy that, like, this shit was, like, damn near, like, left for dead status. And uh, once Kishimoto got back in there, dude, he was like, I'm... Goat's gonna go. So yeah, what we left off at, he had sent the frogs to, uh, along with Code to the Ten-Tailed hideout. Code, who basically was suffering from the damage of the dead fucking Tusk Act 4 wrestling on. I, I gotta put it upon myself to, like, continue speaking so it doesn't just sound like dead space here. So here we have it. Where, um, the Tail Beasts have, like, evolved. Um, I guess Code's power. Maybe since Code got an awakening, the, uh, power of these Jubito are, uh, different than just chunks of the Tail Beast. I'm not deaf as this as Grandpa. What? Minato? Oh, Flying Thunder God. Okay, so this is where it comes in at. Okay, that's what they spoil as Flying Thunder God. But I was like, at what point is this? Okay, so he's trying to find, I guess, Code's Chakra. And he was able to use FTG. Damn, that's crazy. I like how this looks like. The cut on the, the headband reminiscent of Sasuke's headband. I believe it is Sasuke's headband. And then it kind of overlaps with his eye. I, I really like that. I don't know if I appreciate that in the previous uh, panels. So yeah, FTG, the GOAT move. This dude is like broken. He has like, I think sword usage is Kenjutsu. He has Kenjutsu, his FTG, whatever else Sasuke gave him. He has T Tusk Act 4 wrestling on. Um, this dude is pretty crazy. This tree. Did he become the tree? Code is so shook, he doesn't like know what to do here. Oh, there we go. I didn't see him hold that in the previous. Okay, here we go. They did highlight. I didn't pay attention. So he was looking for the that that uh, I guess that's basically his seal, kind of like Minato would put his seal on his kunai, uh, whatever this Apple Air Tag is. He just te teleported to that. Okay, there we go. He made no suspicious movements, nor does he currently have the capacity to do so. Is that bug? Okay, so we have Renegon. So he like took the corporeal form of bug. Whoa. He has the code marks too. Interesting. And the tree dude. He got attacked on the previous chapter. So he just takes the form of people that he... 
or I guess he, it, Juby, um, Juby can just like take the form of people it, it takes. That creature in front of us is a divine tree. Oh shit. Cause that ain't bug. <laughs> that ain't bug. Yo. So he's a real Dorinagon user. Well, I say he. I mean, we can call it Bug and call it Jubido. We can call it Jubug. No, I, holy shit, I, I can't say that. Listen, I wasn't talking about any ethnicities there. I was trying to combine Juby and Bug. Listen, please don't cancel me. I meant Juby plus Bug as a portmanteau. I did not say Jew the, the way that... God, they're going to get me out of there for that one. Um, We'll just call him Bug. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> Bug basically... I mean, to have FCG, you kind of assume that Boruto is like lightning time reaction speed at this point. Everybody else who's had FTG has had pretty much lightning time reaction speed. And um, Boruto got blitzed by a uh, bug here, it looks like. I'm guessing. Maybe it's a fake, we'll see. No, it doesn't look like a fake. Bug is that fast. Have you come to offer up yourself to be devoured, Otsuki Boruto? Something lightning style. I don't remember all the hand seals and all that shit, but something lightning style here, obviously. It looks like a frog down here. Kind of poetic. So he does have reaction time that is still appears to exceed uh, Tentails for the most part. I wonder if Tentails gets stronger depending on what like guy he attaches himself to. Did he release the? Uh, oh yeah, the uh, Usihiko. So he released uh, Act 4 by single. Told me if you don't want to die. Bro, he said this nigga's life, dude. <laughs> so basically, I mean, we saw like a shitty, like nobody uh, ninja get attacked and turned into a tree. I don't know if they're, I mean, the way it worked in the previous series, which obviously a lot of that has been retconned, um, is that anybody who was touching the tree in Infinite Sukiyomi. Uh, was basically going to be turned to a white Zetsu. And I would assume sapping their chakra. It seems like the sapping their chakra part is happening, but they're also, like, falling into the control of the Juby, more or less. Chakra. Okay, well, here's the exposition. Uh, why does he have... Oh, it's a Renegon uh, cloak. I thought it was, it was a Maki clan symbol here. But it is, in fact, the Renegon. Both current as well as pass along dead. Are we going to bring back Obito? We divine trees is just to suck a chakra out of all living things and form chakra fruit. At least, wink wink, that was our original driving instinct. So they refer to themselves as divine trees, not ten tails or tail beasts or whatever. I don't know who this is or who this is. I don't know who any of these people are. I guess other Utsuzuki? I don't know. So basically, he's given the, uh, it looks like almost like a Sage Assist Paths uh, marks here on his belly. So at this point, the only other tailed beast leaves or tentails that we've seen was in Naruto, which obviously did not have like sentiment. As he's expressing here, it wasn't sentient. It was just a wild beast that was more or less seeking chakra. And then once Madara absorbed it and uh, Kag uh, Zetsu, I guess, plunged the will of Kaguya into. I don't even want to try to like figure out what the fuck happened to the end of Naruto, but basically Kage became uh, real again using the body. Of that ten tail beast and moderate to a certain effect. To pass that, we haven't had another ten tail beast other than this one that uh that uh Ju um Ju 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 what the fuck is his name? Uh, Ishiki. Uh, we'll just Jigen is what I meant to say. Ishiki was uh, harnessing. And he was going to feed either Baruto or uh, Kawaki into that. Okay. So this is the other, this is the second of the Jubies we've seen at this point. <laughs> man, he calls this man a fancy clown. You see that? He called him a fancy clown. Dude. <laughs>
Shout out to MF Doom and Mad Villain. Um, I made Mad Lib, but this is a bad situation. Time to retreat, Boruto, to regain our footing. Is this Ishiki? Who is this? I see looking at him like that. God damn it! Come on, dude. Who is that? I don't know who that is. It's something that it's somebody that Boruto obviously knows, so it's got to be somebody from the past. It's not Karma. Uh, Karma. It's not Kawaki. I, I would assume, based on them mentioning people in the past, it's somebody that we would know of, too. That's probably not Minato, but we did just see Flying Thunder God, so I don't know. It could be anybody. It could literally be anybody. Probably not Sasuke or Naruto, but it's just me he's mastered space-time and jutsu. No clue how he did it, but Boruto vanished after Kolo Flint is the for the Kolo's only reason Boruto got caught out today. Boruto seemed to be talking to someone, there might be someone in a sensory unit. Code attacked Konoha and Boruto drove him away as I from Rekonvo. Please ask Ida to confirm it. You just don't get it, Sarda. Boruto is an Otsutsuki, no matter his motives, he's an enemy and needs to be killed just for being Otsutsuki. That's real rich coming from you, another Otsutsuki. Let's go, Sarda. <laughs> the goat. <laughs> Fucking Sarda. <laughs> My queen, Sarda. <laughs> Sarda's like holding it down right now, dude. I Listen, if there's one thing we know about Uchiha, man, they're going to be some hard asses. What the fuck? Dude. What? This guy's beat my ass in fantasy football. I didn't know he still had players left. I thought I had a chance to come back on his ass. Um, nope. I'm uh, I'm finished, bro. I'm frauded out, dude. That guy slotted out by 30 points, bro. That's crazy. Tell us to say this again. I'm an Otsutsuki killing Otsutsuki. My power is just only to kill other Otsutsuki. Yeah, yeah, that, that's that's the reason. I would have to off myself. I won't let you have your way in Kona as a shinobi who aims to become Okage. Let's go, Sarda. <laughs> I had a Mangekyo Shari on his ass. Fucking trick him out. <laughs> you think Genjutsu would work on uh, Kawaki? I feel like we've like cleared like Genjutsu. Like we haven't seen a Genjutsu use against anybody other than like Infinite Sukuyomi. I don't know how long. I think we've just exceeded the level of, of Genjutsu. So so with these trees missing the damage report involving Clark Grimes. Are they trying to RP uh, Grimes' music career? Um <laughs> trying to create a forest. I'm not sure at the very least in traffic victims are still alive. There might be a way to save them. That's why she's after code. Yes. Yes. Shikamaru, you possess dog. Baruto is saving the day. Regardless of Bar is are these the dudes from um these might be the dudes from what what was like Jigen's Carter? I think it was Carter. The Akatsuki uh, ripoff. I don't call it a ripoff, but like, you know. Regardless of Baruto's true motives, there's no doubt that he and Code have a hostile relationship. So since Code's a threat to Konoha, we should consider collaborating with Baruto to take Code down. Use the Mangekyo Sharingan to convince Shikamaru to do that, bro. Shikamaru cannot fight a Mangekyo Sharingan. I don't know if Kawaki can resist Genjutsu. I'd, I'd like to see that, but I doubt we'll ever see like, Genjutsu used in a really practical sense again. Oh, I thought these were like him shifting his identity. He's like just shifted himself off to different trees. Okay. I guess we should call him trees instead of tail beast, I suppose. You need to leave now. Is this pain? Who is this? You need to leave now. Whoever it is, Barto's like crashing out right now. What? Is that Sasuke? No, that's Nagato. Is that Nagato? I thought it was Sasuke. I think it's Nart. Well, he used lightning. That could be Sasuke. But I don't know how it'd be Sasuke. Um, okay, so he used the code, code's abilities pretty quickly. Got over there. Uh, code, his reaction time appears to not be up to, to par here. That looks like, it looks like an Uchiha to me. That face, it's like Sasuke a little bit, but... I'm thinking in my head, Sasuke, Nagato, Madara... It appears that Boruto's reaction time is relative. I think Code just 
dodged a hit. The noises sometimes don't make sense to me. But it looks like they're reacting to him. That looks to be like Chidori adjacent. Chidori against Rasengan. You love to see that. That's something we've never seen before. Chidori against Rasengan. Um, okay. That is the Sharingan. Essentially, it's like a symbol with the Sharingan. Okay, pull the sword out, attack the little claws with the, and now he's locked up. He can't let him out. It's like an Earth style jutsu. Who are these people? I don't. I don't know who these are. Oh, code. Damn. Code. Code, you fuck nigga. That's crazy, man. This nigga Code really was a clown, dude. <laughs> our self awareness having just awakened, overflowing curiosity and thirst for knowledge is still surpassing our instincts when we try to devour you. Wait. Oh, he used, he was able to use FTG to get out of there. Okay, got you. I was I, I was like when you get like really hyped and like watching the chapter. At least for me, I just like start skipping pages and shit. Um, I skipped over the one where he like used FTG to get out of there. I'm just did did Minato use a hand signal FTG? I don't remember if he did. I'd have to look that up after this to see if if Minato ever used a hand signal with FTG. Okay. So run where you will, no matter where you go, don't you never escape your destiny. Is that kid Naruto? I'm guessing he teleported to Sasuke. Don't worry about that rash again. Oh, it's Jiraiya! Or not Jiraiya, but Kashi and Koji. I'm trying to console you, but you know there's a high chance it's happening. So it really was Sasuke. He got trapped in the tree. What the fuck happened? Oh my god. Oh shit! We must still fight. So I have to wait a little bit longer. So what, Sasuke? Okay. Wow. Wow. Holy shit! This um. I... There's a lot of fucking background we're going to have to get over these few chapters. Uh, the plot thickens, man. Holy shit. All right, so just a quick rundown, I guess. Um, I'm going to recap all of this because it'll take too damn long. Man. All right, so basically what we've had, uh, Colt was hit by Tusk Act 4, wrestling on. Barto used Flying Thunder God somehow to get over to Code. Uh, well, we know how he used it. It's just the, the Apple Air Tag, but like in regards to how he learned, uh, FTG still remains to be seen. Um, basically, we know that Sarada is actively like campaigning against Code. Uh, she's the only one does is not affected. Well, her and Neo Suzuki uh, are not affected by uh, what is it, omnipresence or whatever uh, the charm jutsu, and we pretty much know that roughly we don't know all of it, but. If one of the many-tailed beasts uh, attack you, you get trapped in a tree. And then once you get trapped in a tree, basically your presence is able... You're like, you're... More or less your body is able to be used by the Judy. So everybody that we see here, we do know at the very least they are vessels of the Juby. And we also now know Naruto came into the battle against Code knowing how these have been formed how these you know possessed individuals have like came about he tried to get code to release his power um and code refused to do so so that's cool um the ten tails has like now more or less gained sentient ability because of codes claw grimes which is interesting um and Toad is now able to be, you know, uh, a fighter again. Now he's been freed from the gravitational wrestling on. I assume he won't get caught in that again. And we now know that they, they being the Juby, has 
a idea or a, a design that is now grander than just becoming a chakra fruit. This is now Sasuke, which I, I pretty much assumed it was Sasuke, but based on the kind of looks of him, he had to be somebody crazy because Boruto kept on staring at him. And, um, yeah, I mean, it looked like Sasuke. His hair has apparently been fused, I guess, with the, the claw grinds, I suppose. Chidori. Chidori against Rasengan. As classic as it gets, pretty much. And, um, yeah. So, Sasuke appears to be trapped by the the beast. The beast incarnate. And, um... This appears to be his main body. I'm not sure who this is supposed to be, but this definitely appears to be the one he represents himself with the most. I don't know who this is supposed to be. But, yeah, so... And we kind of culminated with uh, Jiraiya's incarnate Kashin Koji being the one leading the charge with uh, Baruto. So that's pretty much his main ally at this point. And probably who taught him the ability to use the, the frog uh, contract, I would imagine. Alright, so... Um, what chapter is this? Chapter 4. Baruto. Four Let's see if we have a wiki yet. I just want to see if they know who those other people are. So, Buck, Claw Grime, Feminine Claw Grime, and Flipping Claw Grime. So, no one knows who those are yet. Okay. I'm not going to read through the summary, but uh, more or less, we, you know, a Sasuke God Tree. So, that's how they're officially referred to, or, or, or God Trees, pretty much, more or less. Okay, so, let, let's look here. So... When Boruto followed Ko to the dimension of the Ten Tails, remained of the latter split into the last of split into the last of the Clawgon, with one bearing the appearance of Sasuke having been absorbed prior by a Clawgon. With three words that have gained, three others you have gained self-awareness, the Clawgon attacks Boruto and Code, helping them battle the former, as is intended to go over their original self, where it can be accomplished both Code and Boruto retreat. So pretty much that's the the ten tails that was there has sentient. I guess it was waiting for Code and Barton to get back before it split apart. But basically, the remnants. Well, what what is the ten tails? That isn't all those other mini claw grimes, the wild ones. Um, is Sasuke the chick one? The I I feel like it's pain adjacent one, and then Bug. Hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. So, Sogi. Wait, what? Oh, it's the same people that have been devoured. Okay, so that's not the two that we we don't know of. I was trying to figure out who those people were that we just are simply unaware of, but um, I guess we'll figure it out later. Uh, floating claw grind. No clue who this is. All right, well, that's about it. I got nothing else really to say. Um, this is interesting. Uh, we have a ton of backdrop. Um, I think we pretty much figured that Kaj and Koji would, would come back at some point, you know, after kind of this fight with, um, I think that was the original form of Ishiki and the last vestiges of Jigen was who he fought. Um, so we're going to probably figure out like kind of how he went about, you know, operating in the shadows for so long, uh, probably figure out some of what Sasuke taught Boruto before he was attacked by Claw Grime. Um, I would assume it's pretty obvious why Sasuke became a Claw Grime. He was, well, actually, no, because he lost the ability to use Space Time Ninjutsu once he lost his Rinnegan. So my theory was that like he was traveling back and forth to the the uh, Kara dimension, and he just got jumped by the the Ten Tails. But that's not possible because he lost the ability to use uh, Amino Tijikara once he lost the Rinnegan. So, I, I don't know. Um, I just, we just have to pretty much assume that maybe the Claw Grime attacked Boruto and Sasuke. Maybe Sasuke saved Boruto from being absorbed by the Claw Grime. I mean, you would assume that the Claw Grime uh, has been actively seeking Boruto based on the nature of how it originally operated. Uh, I'm assuming that Code did not 
himself send them at Barto, at least not like mm, knowing where Barto was at, because from what it seems like, it's the first time that they really uh, sat down and conversated since their fight back then when um when Barto was possessed by Momoshiki. So a lot to unpack, uh, a lot of chapters to unpack all that. I mean, this could be easily a 50 chapter manga, 100 chapter manga. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it was at least 50 chapters. Uh, 50 chapters, it's a monthly, so it'd be about four years of content. And it's been going on since, what, 2016, I think? So I could definitely see something like that. I would not be surprised if, um, let's see here. They have the manga. Uh, let me see. They have 20 volumes. Okay, they have 20 volumes, so... If we have a chapter count here, that would definitely help. Uh, fuck. They don't have... They don't have it broken out the way I'd like it to be. I just kind of want to get this count in the chapter so far. I kind of have an idea, but... I mean, roughly I have six arcs, so I would probably expect them to kind of equate that on this side as well. I think a lot of symmetry there. So, 80 chapters. Okay, so they had 80 chapters all in all. That would be about seven years, give or take. Uh, 12 times seven is 96. So six years, 12 times six. Okay, so yeah, closer to, to six years. I see, I would see about four or five years, more or less. So we got a lot of time to kind of flesh this all out. Uh, Kishimoto is not really being, um, I don't know what, manipulated by Shuheisha or, or Jump or whatever. Like he's pretty much getting to kind of write this in his own flow of time. He's going to put his own content out there. He's not really being. When I say manipulate, I mean like being forced to like put certain shit, certain places. Uh, to date, since he's come back, he's been able to write the chapters kind of the way he wants to write them at his own pace. So I assume they're going to get a lot of development, um, some real nurturing love and care here. And uh, hopefully, um, what the fuck? <laughs> hopefully uh, a, a very fleshed out um, a sense of, of what happened in Barto's development. Because I do think they're going to try to make I, it always kind of sucks to try to fit like what happened to date to your your kind of flash forward panel and our flash forward panel in this series was Porto against Kawaki which seems to be pretty self-evident but you know you got to make it work right you got to make it fit perfectly and uh, after reading to Joey in part eight as long as I did I know it's hard to make to make things fit into a flash forward panel uh effectively so that's gonna be about it here hope you guys enjoy uh i don't know if i did the chapter three video but i gave you guys a pretty thick chapter four here in case i did so hope you guys enjoy it uh, stop recording